Yes. Yes. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. What is it? We want a bottle of water, please. I want one too. I'm very thirsty. All right, here are the water bottles. I hope this cheers you up. Thanks. Thank you, nurse. Gosh, I must be having a busy day today. So do I. We've been dealing with all of this crap we've been having in this hospital, although I just started working here not long ago. So, what brings you to my office, Sally? Well, I just realized that a criminal pointed a gun at one of our patients, and I tried to ask him to put down the weapon, and he did just that. I know the feeling, Sally, but you don't have to worry about what else is going to happen. Besides, we are not sure who was the person responsible for nearly shooting a patient, but you don't have to mind that. So what are we going to be doing tomorrow? Are we going to have a busy day just like last time? Yes, we sure are going to be busy dealing with all of the things that have happened. I'm not sure where Oliver is, but I guess he went home to sleep with his wife while the rest of us are still working in the hospital during the night shift. Exactly. Well, this is a surprise. You're resigning. Yup. I sure am. It was a pretty difficult decision I have taken, and I wanted to move out from Castlebush, because we've been appearing on tabloid magazines across the country. Well, you have I just found out from the Castlebush newsletter that you and I have apparently gone to the restaurant to have a date, and many paparazzi pictures were released about us. Oh god no 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 no. Am I really in a whole lot of trouble? Humberto, calm down. At least you resigned and you won't get attacked by those protesters again, just like what happened to us recently. Guys, is there a problem? What happened? Humberto has resigned. I know that. I was watching the news all about that and were not sure where will Humberto continue his life. Listen, I'm moving to Australia because of the fact that I resigned. So this is why I'm moving out. I mean, this crisis wasn't supposed to happen. Exactly. And you shouldn't have slept with my ex-wife in the first place. But Humberto lived alone because of Pixie's death and Antonio's departure and this is why I had a divorce from you. What kind of woman are you? I mean, what kind of woman has to betray me by sleeping with the mayor and then having a date with him? But I had nothing to do with you. Stop lying to me. We lived a happy life but you wouldn't care about me anymore. Guys, stop it. I'm not letting this crisis worsen because of this argument, so I would like you to stop with this nonsense. Absolutely. And I also have to tell you something important, but please don't get angry about what I'm about to say. I'm pregnant. Hi! What's up? Not much. I'm still worried about what will happen to Paul. He's in the hospital being treated and I'm not sure when will he get released. Listen, Paul will be fine. Doctor said that he is recovering from the gunshot wounds he sustained and he'll be released soon. Yeah, but don't you think that Simon should be punished for shooting my best friend? Why do you have to say that? I mean, you threatened to kill him because of what he did to Paul, and he tried to shoot Paul, but later went against the idea. Exactly. And if Simon tries to harm Paul and my friends again, we are all doomed. Dennis, calm down. Simon is just a stranger and you don't have to trust him anyway. Whatever. I am not going to trust Simon anyway because, he's a loser. An absolute loser, and if he finds out about what I said to him, we're doomed. You're, you're what? What do you mean you're pregnant? I'm sorry Oliver. Humberto is becoming a father and I'm expecting a baby soon. I should have known you made Natasha pregnant. I mean, what is wrong with you? But it wasn't my fault. I slept with Natasha and she somehow got pregnant without knowledge. He does have a point, Oliver. Besides Humberto, it's my boyfriend and I lived with him. Oh my god, what do you mean Humberto is your boyfriend? I mean, do you really think that this is necessary that you are dating the mayor? But it was just a publicity stunt, that's all. How many times do I have to tell you not to lie to me in the face like that? You made Natasha pregnant and you are going to appear on the news because of it. Leave it, Oliver. Humberto had nothing to do with- Don't you dare trust Humberto ever again. Ever, and I mean ever. You should break up with him and then stay away from him forever. Please don't say that. I love Humberto and I can't live alone, so I- Shut up! Please, Humberto is a betrayer, an absolute betrayer, and he deserves to resign because- Now hold on there for just a moment, Oliver. You called me a betrayer, and you are trying to harm your ex-wife. 
He's right, Oliver. You're trying to be an evil person and I hope I can get to see you going to- Enough! You have no idea what you've done, do you? Ow! No idea the damage you've caused! Is this what you want? Huh? Oliver, stop it! Stay away from me forever. <laughs> I mean, wow. We're just stunned about the mayor's resignation. Yeah. I mean, I just didn't get it why the mayor is resigning, but it may be because he struggled to live alone. It's not just about that. It's about the scandal. He slept with the vice mayor and he and the vice mayor even went to a restaurant to have a date. Exactly. And we don't know who is going to be the new mayor. Whoa sir, get down from the table please. You're trying to do something stupid, so get down from there. Sorry. Anyway what can I get for you? Oh, um, uh, um, yes. Can I have some beef please? Sure, here's the beef. Enjoy. Thank you. So as I was saying, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the mayor soon because I'm running for the early mayoral elections. You're actually running for the early mayoral elections? Seriously? I mean, what were you thinking? What? I just wanted to make Castle Bush a bright and stable place for everyone, that's all. Is that so? I mean, I don't think you could be the mayor because many people say that animals can't run for a mayoral election. Well that's dumb. I wonder what it's like to see an animal becoming a head of state. I'll tell you what guys, I will place signs across the town and then inform the residents that I'm becoming a mayor. Does it sound alright? No? You're not caring about me? Shame. Oh my god. What did Oliver just do to my office? I don't know. He just wrecked the office and even got rid of the curtains. I have to call Oliver's lawyer about this. I need to tell her about Oliver's behavior. Hello. Who's this? Hello. This is Humberto Walker. Oliver smashed all over my office and even threw the lamp out of the window. Please help Oliver with his aggressive behavior. I understand. I'm on my way to help Oliver. Goodbye. Goodbye. So? What did she say? She said that she is on her way soon. I really hope Oliver could stop being aggressive or there will be serious consequences. Hello Oliver, I'm Larry Alvarez, and I came to help you. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. Listen, you need to calm down. I just came to talk to you about what you did. You have apparently smashed the mayor's office and according to your ex-wife, you attacked her and you started being aggressive towards her and the mayor. That's because my ex-wife is pregnant and Humberto even made her pregnant, and what's even shocking though is that he even slept with her in his house. Listen, you don't need to be too aggressive because of that reason. The mayor has resigned and he is preparing to move to Australia to start a new life there, and the new mayor is yet to be revealed soon. I knew that this scandal wasn't supposed to happen. I mean, I didn't even get it why my wife had a divorce from me, but I always lived a happy life with her. I know the feeling, but I have this paper right here which shows evidence that this wasn't the first time that you attacked your ex-wife. In 2015, you psychically attacked your wife at the local government restroom, and you nearly strangled her to death. This, this is a lie. I had nothing to do with my wife back then. I didn't even strangle her, I just tried to murder her, that's all. But the evidence says that you did strangle your wife in 2015, so if you keep with this aggressive behavior, you will be sent to the psycho ward in the heart to hospital. Shut the hell up! Oh my god! What happened to her? She's been stabbed. We need to call the ambulance. Oh. Hello you two. I didn't expect to see you coming in. We were just making sure how are things going. I see that you are still using the computer. Yeah but what are you doing on the computer again? Are you playing video games? Uh hum. Okay 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 okay. I was only kidding. As I was saying, I'm still looking at my weekly payment I've just received not long ago. I earned about $10.57. Well you didn't get as much money as you wanted. 
but that's okay. I am also treating the patients because the hospital is still overwhelmed, but at least some patients have recovered from a recent explosion. You mean you, Matilda and Ashley had to rush to the scene where a car accident occurred in a pub? Exactly. Although Matilda is dead, we are still remembering her and her memories will live on. Of course it will. This serial killer has no reason for killing Matilda, and we don't have to trust the killer anyway. Not to mention, the Castle Bush slasher may still be on the run, but I'm pretty sure that the killer would be caught soon. Attention. I would like Jerry Corden and my Amos to report to the emergency. A woman was stabbed near downtown Castle Bush. I repeat, a woman was stabbed near downtown Castle Bush. It must be another patient. All right, we have to go now. We have some busy business to take care of. Thanks again for all of the good times you had, Mr. Mayor. It's been nice working with you. My pleasure. We even had all of the damages fixed so that something like this will not happen again. Yeah, but I can also see a new lamp you brought. It has a different color compared to the previous one. Well, I only brought it is because the old lamp broke down entirely after Oliver threw it out the window, so that's why I brought the new lamp. In that case, I think it would be time for us to say goodbye to each other. Goodbye, Hamberto, and I am going to miss you. Thanks. Goodbye. What do you want? Can't you see that I am preparing to move out from Castle Bush? What? You're not saying anything, aren't you? You wouldn't care about me moving out from this stupid town. Are you sorry? Huh? Are you sorry for killing my daughter? Are you responsible for making my life miserable after all of this? Alright. Listen, you better stay away from me, leave me alone, and let me move to Australia for what-